Hi everyone, welcome to St. Christopher's Sunday School. Today we are doing the last video of our online school year um, for May 16th, and we are talking about John 17, 6 through 19. Um, I do want to give a shout out to Ryan, Piper, and Zakora Abikwi. It was so wonderful to see you guys. Um, at church last Sunday. I loved seeing your smiling faces and we got to hear Odera, sweet baby Odera, um, in church. It was wonderful. So, so great seeing you guys back in church. And I look forward to seeing more of you as we all come back slowly but surely. Um, it is our last class together, you guys. It has been a wild, wild year doing online teaching for you. Um, but I want to thank all of you for your support and your grace and the way that you guys um, jumped into this online school year and made it work. I loved seeing all your different projects. Um, it's just been such a joy to get to do this with you, even though we're online. Um, it's still been wonderful. We are so excited to see you guys back in person. We start on September 19th. That is our kickoff Sunday. We will be in person. I am getting ready, planning lots of fun stuff. Um, and you guys will be hearing from me over the summer and reaching out to some of the parents. Uh, if you're interested in being part of a little parent team, um, I would love to have you. That would be great. Also speaking of the summer, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the summer service project. So this is totally an optional opportunity for you guys. And um, I've written up a little bit. This will be going out in a cuter format for you um, in a delivery, a little summer drop off for you guys um, that will explain this. Uh, summer project, but just a little bit about it. Um, the reason it's so important that service is a part of what we do as Christians is because Jesus teaches us to um, serve our brothers and sisters, but especially those who need more than we do. Um, and actually, he says that, or we say that, that good feeling that you get when you do something nice for someone else. So maybe when you let a sister or brother um, play with your toys, and it feels really good, and you're like, oh, that feels really good. That's the feeling that God gives us um, to say thank you for doing something really nice for someone else. So that is that wonderful feeling you get to have. And um, it's part of how we change the world one little bit at a time is through our acts of service to others. So this project is focusing on anything you want to do to get to help someone else um, or explore something you might be interested in serving. So, for example, maybe you might um, volunteer one time at an animal shelter, or maybe you're going to host a lemonade stand um, and use the profits to donate to a local pantry, or um, maybe you have a family member um, who's been sick or maybe a grandparent with breast cancer and so you want to do something nice for um, Susan G. Komen, the Breast Cancer Awareness Fund, you can do whatever you want, whatever is important to you. So this is an opportunity for you to get to explore what ways you want to help make the world better and what types of things are important to you. Maybe it's helping animals, maybe it's helping older people, maybe it's helping other kids you get to totally design it, which I'm super excited about for you. Um, you can do it as yourself. So, so just as a kid having a lemonade stand, I keep using that example because Father Jeff loves lemonade. And he did say he would be very excited if anyone had a, a lemonade stand, he might be able to pop by um, and get some lemonade for himself. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you can do it yourself um, as like a lemonade stand. You can do it as a family project. Maybe all of you go and you um, clean up um, garbage at a park together as a family. Or maybe it's multifamily, um, which is kind of like what the Piper family did when they did Hunker Down for Hunger um, in 2020 and they did a food drive. So there is no wrong way to do this summer service project. It's just an opportunity for you to do something um, being of service, and to figure out what you're passionate about. You, If you need some ideas, you can reach out to me 
And um, if you give me enough notice, <laughs> and it's not um, a weekend that I already have school or wedding planning, um, I would love to stop by whatever your event is and say hi to you. Um, and I'm happy to put it in our e-update for you in the office, and we can put it on Facebook to help get the word out about whatever your event or whatever you're doing. Um, we will help you promote it if you make sure to just give us enough time so I can do that for you. Um, and again, I'd love to stop by and get to see you in person. That would be wonderful. Um, so I hope you take advantage of this opportunity. And I also know that um, people travel over the summer or go to camp and you may not be able to, but um, I just want to encourage you if you can. I'm also looking to send out a little, there'll be a little kit and a little more information about this that'll go more in depth. So if you're not fully understanding, you can wait for that to come out for you um, or give us a call or email me at the office and I'll just tell you um, what to expect over the phone. Okay, I since it's our last video also, I wanted to show you how far our little marigold plants got. Look at these guys. Aren't they so cute and growing? And I think, I might have shown you I did two sets just in case because I didn't know what to expect with planting. But look at them, they're coming along. Isn't that awesome? So I will find a way um, to keep you guys updated on our plants. Maybe when you come to church, you can peek in and see how they're doing. Okay, let's jump into our story for today. So Ironically, it's our last story, and it is not in our um, Spark Bible or our Jesus Storybook. So I had to go online um, and find a corresponding gospel story. So I did the best I could, <laughs> um, and I'm going to just read it to you. So here are some of the pictures. I've got prairies, I've got Jesus praying, and I'm going to read it to you. Okay. In this story, Jesus is praying to God. It is after the Easter story, but he is still on earth. Jesus prays for his disciples. I have taught the people here about you. Oh, and remember, he prays for his disciples. These are the disciples. I have taught the people here about you. They are following your laws, and you asked me to teach them more, and they have obeyed your word. Now that they, now they know that everything I can do is because of you. They know for certainty that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the whole world, but for my friends. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by the power you gave me. I am coming up to heaven now, but I want to say these things while I am on the earth so that they can be filled with joy. I have given them your word and the world has hated them. Do not take them out of the world, but protect them from the evil one. They are not of this world now, even as I am not of it. Bless them by your truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. We can learn from this that as disciples of Jesus, who, follows, who follow his word and tell others about him, God cares about us and he will protect us from evil. Also, God blesses us when we are doing his work of telling people about him and caring for others. Okay, so that's a little variation um, of our story for this week. And the wording that you see here of... Um, I am not, they are not of this world as I am not of it, um, is also in the gospel that your adults are reading this week too. And it's a really important passage. So, and a really important concept. So I made it our word for today, which is a, not just one word, but it's not of this world. And so that's the point that um, Jesus is making in this story. And it has, to, as well as with our craft, um, that we are not of this world. We are in this world. And we're here, but we are not of this world. Um, and that's an important thing to remember when, um, when we're existing in society and it feels like, but this is really important. I have to go over to my friend's house. And, it, and you really want something of this world. And it's important to remember that we're, not, um, we're in this world, but we're not of this world. So to not get too attached um, to the things that don't matter and keep your heart 
centered on God. Um, so this leads me to your general question for today, which um, has a little to do with this as well as just over the summer. I'm asking you, how will you continue to practice being a Christian over the summer? So one more time, how will you continue to practice being a Christian over the summer? Hint, hint, service project. But of course, there's many, many, many other ways. Just like Father Jeff's message is here for the adults that we had to be church when we weren't able to gather. There's so many other ways for us to be church. So even when we don't have Sunday school, there's so many other ways for us to be Christians. And I hope that's um, what you've been learning, how to be a loving, kind Christian um, through this school year. So maybe you can look back at some of your other notes and other, your other journals of how you will continue to practice being a Christian over the summer. Okay, so for our craft, since our saying was not of this world, I thought we would make a little mini globe to remind us that we are in this world, but we are not of this world, just as Jesus is not of, in this world, of this world. Um, it's like a trick. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> so made a little globe and you have all the supplies to make this in your kit, um, in your craft bag. So we, this is why you had a styrofoam ball and you have blue um, tissue paper and green tissue paper, and you'll maybe need some scissors. You will need some scissors, not maybe, um, and glue. If you have like that paper mache um, type glue, that works wonderful for this. I didn't have that, so I just used my glue stick and I think it turned out fine, um, but you'll get even more um, like coverage if you use that paper mache type glue, which a lot of people have um, if you're crafty, but I just don't happen to have it. So um, the first thing we're going to do for this is we get we measure the right size of the blue just to make sure if you've got a big slice of paper that you're going to need to cut it down. And I'm just going to talk you through this one because um, it does take a little while. So first I put glue all over the styrofoam ball, all over, all over. It got super sticky. You're going to want to wash your hands after this one. Um, and then I rolled the paper across and I actually did two layers. So then I had to even go, I cut it here um, and then I sealed the glue around and then I went and did a second layer of it and I put the glue on top of some of the blue paper so that it was extra um, like thick. And I just went around and anywhere there was paper sticking up, I put glue and pushed it down. Put glue, push it down. Put glue, push it down. So just like that. Until it was as flat as I could get it. And that's all I want to tell you about that part. Yeah, so that is how I got the, the water to look like the ocean on the earth. Then I took a small piece of the green paper and I cut it like, where's my scissors? just a small amount of it so that it would be easier to make my shapes. And I went ahead and I looked at a map kind of just to get a sense of the shapes. You're not going to do any of them like perfectly unless you're a geographer maybe. Um, but you can kind of get a sense like this looks slightly like the shape of the, Af the continent of Africa. Um, I did one that's like the... North America, kind of, not perfect, or I'm sorry, this is more like Europe, Asia combined. None of them are perfect. I did a little like New Zealand, Australia. It doesn't matter. It still is as close to it and looks cute um, and like a globe. So don't worry about doing your continents perfectly. I think that if you just kind of get a general shape, um, it's going to be very clearly a little globe or a little world as we are not of this world but we're in the world. Okay, so that is your last craft. Oh, and then I said, you just glue, sorry, I don't even think I said this, but you, you cut the shapes and then you glue them on with the glue. You just put it down over the blue and then you do your placement of where um, each of the different countries are. And you kind of space them out a little so it looks like a globe. Okay. Oh, that is our last craft. 
um, for Sunday School Online for this year. Wow. Okay, so you also have your final children's bulletin insert um, that tells a variation of this story. It happens to focus on Jesus praying for the disciples. Um, so that is the, the insert that you have here. It's the same gospel, same story. They put the focus more on Jesus praying for the disciples. We put the focus more on um, being not of this world. Same lesson, just different ways of looking at it. Okay. We are going to end saying the Lord's Prayer for the last time, you guys. I have to tell you, every time I've been in church and we say the Lord's Prayer as part of the service and the liturgy, I think of you guys and how we have been practicing this. So I am looking so forward to seeing you guys in church and seeing you say the Lord's Prayer. Um, I'm super excited if any of you do have it memorized. I'm so proud of you guys. All right, for our last time. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much for an amazing year. It was been such a joy getting to be your teacher um, and the director of Children's Christian Formation. I've loved it, and I can't wait to see you guys on September 19th in person um, for kickoff Sunday, or if you are doing the summer service project, I'm very excited to see what you guys do. Please take pictures, um, and if you let me know and you want me to stop by, I would be thrilled to. Okay, bye guys.